From grapes to wine shall thine be forever mine. From wine to the cheeses to the crackers to the picnic that will never happen. To the toast that I shall never see to the kiss that won't be received to the passion that I shall never endure from grapes to wine I dedicate thy life to the grains of sand that lie beneath my feet and this my love I shall find you a home in the sand and a life in the ocean and we our love shall be the last grains of sand left to love live and to enjoy the grapes and the wine and memories we shall be the grains of sand beneath the world's feet Charlie, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Charlie. Megan, Charlie, he's, um, Charlie's at the center. He's not here. Megan, Megan, he's in a coma. I, I need to go. I know, I know. You'll be all right. The fetus looks about six weeks, Megan. I'm so sorry for your loss. This... This is too much. We knew when I performed the surgery, the chances were going to be slim. It was a miracle that you got pregnant. You hear that, Megan? It was a miracle. Now it's dead! That's some miracle, Kim! What are you doing in here? I used to love it here. I always came here. With my parents. During my internship. I used to love it here when life was good. I loved it here when my father was chief and my parents were married. I loved it here when I was in love with an amazing surgeon. He's dead now. What are you doing in here, Megan? I built this place. My family built this medical center. Nothing good comes from here. Everyone is always sad and dying, and I... I can't take it, Jackie. Megan, it's all right. You'll be okay. I was pregnant. Up until today, I was pregnant. Up until today, I was engaged with an amazing man who just got into a car accident and is now in a coma. Up until today, I wanted to be here. Up until today, I wanted to be a surgeon. And today, I realized that this, this is too much for me. I used to love it here. I know. I know you did. We all did. Joel, my love, it's a pity that you haven't invited me here before. Mom, it's not like you can just show up at a medical center at random for lunch. <laughs> Yet, here we are, Joel, having lunch in your cafeteria in the medical center. <sighs> oh, I have a rather large headache. Oh! Cold Blue! Joel, we're gonna do everything in our power to save her. Please. Please. Please save her. She's not an ordinary patient. She's my mother. 
Joel, we're doing everything we can right now. I have to go back. Save her. You better save my mother! Dr. Whitman? Maybe you should have something to eat or something to drink. I, I don't need food! I need you to do everything, everything that you can do to save her. Save her! Save her! You better save my mother! My mom died. I heard. I'm so, so sorry, Joel. A brain aneurysm. <laughs> A freaking brain aneurysm just busting in her head like poof. I, I don't... I, I don't quite understand how or why things work out in the way that they do. I often question my philosophy as I usually concur with science rather than religion. And although I haven't been really able to test out my judgment, I feel that life, as bland and as vague as this may sound, is a waste. Joel, don't! Maya had a purpose in life. She was a leader. She was a lover. She was an amazing human being. My life, on the other hand, is worthless. Joel, maybe we should go downstairs. I worked hard to get to where I'm at and someone from above is trying to rip it away from me! Why didn't he save her? Why didn't he save her? I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this anymore. Everybody around me is dropping like flies. Do you think I want to? When my dad died, I started taking pills. When Nathaniel died, I started seeing him. I developed schizophrenia. When my sister died, I felt numb and felt so out of place in the world. When I found out I was pregnant, I felt so happy, overjoyed people would say. I had a miscarriage and I never doubted my beliefs nor my judgment. I overcame that obstacle in my life. I overcame multiple obstacles in my life. Unlike you, I always question myself and I doubt that I can overcome this. Goodbye, Megan. No, Joel, don't!